Okay. All right, we're good now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, today's top story, Adam, big hater of uh, Glenn Greenwald. Me? Yeah. You're jealous of how many guys he gets to fuck. Yeah. You're like, yeah. I wish I looked like him and had his <laughs> I wish I was handsome. I wish I was as handsome as Glenn Greenwald. It would be nice to live in Rio. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. He has a lot of dogs. That's kind of mm-hmm. nice. What's he doing down there? Just petting dogs and eating chips and salsa? And yep. Yeah. Well, he's going... It's all Fogo to... Ch- every meal is Fogo to Chow. Damn. Damn. He's just eating meat off swords? That's awesome. Wow. Mm-hmm. Damn, I haven't been to a nice Fogo de Chow in a while. Uh, the last time I had Brazilian barbecue was in... Uh, mm-hmm. Canada with uh, a couple of fagarinos. <laughs> a couple of, you you have you have clones of yourself that no, you I remember eat? that we were in Ottawa. That was actually mm-hmm. for such a gay. Did tour, we get Brazilian barbecue there? for the gayest part of the gayest tour we've been on? Yep, that which it was Ottawa. Yeah, Ottawa was without Ottawa question. Was for staying in like Roseanne's house yeah. in some like capital, yeah, that was really funny. Nick almost suburb. fought a security guard at Walmart, and well, yeah, uh, that was the day I slept the whole day. I was on, I took edibles and slept an entire day. Yeah, that's yeah. how gay Ottawa was. You guys were like, I'm gonna go to Walmart. I was like, I'm just gonna take so many edibles, I sleep yeah. through a day. I was uh, going was through my sad. camera roll, and I, I have a. A photo shoot I did of you in the backyard of that Roseanne house we were staying Oh, what in. was it? You were smoking weed, wearing a Canada cowboy nice. hat. Yeah. Send me those pics. I'll send them to you. <laughs> I might try to get into edibles. I've never taken an edible in my life. Oh, no, what? Don't, don't do it. You don't never do it. have? No, never. It's way more than smoking weed. You get yeah. way higher. It is, Not you really. do. Yeah. Oh, speaking of marijuana, I just want to say we did, five years ago we did an episode with Andy Haynes where I mentioned this guy. Nick 420CA, <coughs> me and my friends have been watching Smoke Weed on the internet for 10 years, and he acknowledged us this week. And it was a major moment Shut in my up, life. Shut up, dude. Who cares? He yeah. wants us to come down to Long Beach and... <laughs> you can go. ...and do a dab marine Nick 420 him. dabs can suck my dick. I don't give a fuck at all. Stop. He's a new fan of the show. I, he can suck a, my old balls of my dick. <laughs> That's where you and I are different. I respect every single person who listens to this show. <laughs> that is, if that's true, we are very different. Yeah, we could not be more diametrically opposed on that matter. Diametrically opposed. <laughs> In that sense, yes, we are. I am diametrically opposed, dude. I'm, if it ain't ice cream, I'm not having it. I'm diametrically Damn, opposed kinda, to food. I kind of want ice cream now. Okay, we can make that happen. Because ice cream is great in the summer, but in the fall, once it's like past its bedtime. Oh, it's slutty. It's fucking bad. You feel like a bad boy. Ice cream after hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the leaves are turning, you're just licking down a big cone. I I totally see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Triple scoop. I love the triple scoop because that's way too much ice cream. It's it, it's unruly. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's an unruly amount. Yeah. Fuck, dude. There was such a good flavor of ice cream I had in Seattle. Do you want to try and remember it? I'm yeah. trying. Was it under under? I, I I couldn't tell you. Underage penis. What are you, what are you no. saying? He's a pedophile. Is that Come the on, joke here? What? Oh, I disrespect Nick four twenty dabs, and now you got to say I'm a fucking pedophile. Yeah, it's, you have me on edge a little bit right now. Fuck you and fuck him. How about that? It's Nick C. I don't care what it is. All right. It's a man that I've been watching smoking <laughs> weed on the internet for 15 years. You know what? And we didn't get to it to the last episode because we got into something else that was really good, and I'm not going to spoil it, but it is the best episode we've ever done. The next premium might be the <coughs> best we've ever done. But I have some grief. You know what? Since you're going to have this attitude, I was going to let it slide, but I have a grievance against you. What's the grievance? I asked for a sandwich this morning. Mm-hmm. I was. You at- asked, do we, did anybody want coffee? I, I was at the coffee bean How and tea like leaf. those lights? You like, like uh, orange? Is that good? Orange is nice. It's like I would a, put it a li- I would put a shade more white in it. Yeah, but I like it. No, it's like a a library, like a. It's still a pinch more. A gentleman's cl- a uh, pinch more white. A pinch. A gentleman's penis. A gentleman's penis. A gentleman's penis never lies. <laughs> um, I like this color also. The blue. That's nice. Yeah. Soothing. Can't you do it? Yeah, you can do whatever you want, right? You can do. I have some shit like that. Whatever you want in this world. The red's intense. Red's too much. Unless you're doing a brothel. Yeah. Purple's mm. nice. Purple City Bird Gang. Ravens. What's up? Uh, blue. That's like a mystical blue. I, kinda, I like white. that icy blue. Mm-hmm. I like icy blue and I like this kind of green. It makes me feel like I'm in some kind of like... Magic. Uh, 
Yeah, some kind like of like a magician's lair. Yeah. Like Merlin. Mm-hmm. Like if Merlin was doing spells exactly. into my ass. Oh yeah. That'd be cool. To shrink it. Uh anyways, uh <coughs> folks, welcome to the show. No, I have grievances against that. Okay, okay, air it. Oh. Air your grievance. I okay, asked wait, for uh, a let sandwich. me cut you off for a second. Go ahead. You're allowed to air it if we resolve it. I don't want to have a grievance out there. You're not gonna that's put, not resolved. You're not gonna put fucking restraints on my speech, motherfucker. I'm not putting restraints. This is You're not telling me what I can and cannot air. I'm airing whatever the no, fuck. No, I, I want to find common ground with a friend. And I hope to find it too. Okay. I so, hope to. I'm going into this hopeful. Okay, go. Say it. You asked if anybody wanted coffee. How about a coffee shop called Common Ground? Wouldn't that be that would be really, really good? Really good. I mean, that should be our business that we start with the money we got that we didn't deserve. Yeah. Yeah. Like a woman would. Uh-huh. <laughs> like a woman with her father's money. I'm going to start a coffee shop called Common Ground where we elevate women, mm-hmm. colorful, fat, black women voices. Uh-huh. This is a fat black woman elevating business called Common Ground, owned by me. Oh, yeah. Rebecca mm-hmm. Rothschild Vanderbilt. <laughs> hyphen Feldstein. Mm-hmm. Hy- hyphen my husband, who's <laughs> a lawyer. <laughs> That's good. That's the hyphen. That's the third hyphen, yeah. huh? Um. Anyway, Continue. you ask if I anyone spend my father's money, I spend my husband's money, and I am a business owner. <laughs> it's a it's a coffee shop that sells eight dollar lattes and soap that I make myself by hiring someone else to. Mm-hmm. I put the wick in at the I end. I do the fine. I I it's help. soap on a rope, and I helped. <laughs> <laughs> That's what rich women are. They're like the fucking kid from the Chex Mix commercial. Yes, a hundred percent. Like, and I helped. Yeah, they wrap a bow on whatever product they have made in a pseudo sweatshop. Yeah, and they're like, yeah, it's a collaborative effort. Mm-hmm. Boy, <laughs> I'd really love to shove those ladies down the stairs. <laughs> Which ladies? Rich women. Rich women that have fake businesses that pretend mm. that they or that they pretend that they earned through yeah. their own hard work. Rich what is an apothecary? The and they 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 always have they have a vein that starts in the middle of their foot and goes up their ankle, <laughs> all the way to their brain. Just yeah. one prominent vein. What? What's an apothecary? Yeah, because those kind of women always own a, apothecaries. Yeah, it's like a place that sells fucking Edison light bulbs and like a mason jar with a twig in it. And, and mm, soaps. Yeah, bullshit soaps. Yeah. A lot of like recycled paper. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. don't have bags. Mm-hmm. They fold. They're like, do you want this skiff wrapped? And it's like recycled construction paper bowed with twine. Yep. Twine. Twine. Yeah. yeah. It's the kind of paper you should. The, the nice ribeye steak should be wrapped in. Yeah, not a Ooh. not a gift. That sounds nice. Uh-huh. <clears throat> you know what was sounded nice to me at around ten forty eight a.m. today. Yeah, a sandwich, a breakfast sandwich. Okay, breakfast sandwich. I was at a coffee shop. Okay, and what they don't have anything yeah. sort of. Here's for the listeners at home. New York is. Uh, it's like you could fall over and run into a breakfast sandwich. Hundred percent. The entire city's built out of fucking breakfast mm-hmm. sandwiches. Yep. It's actually less reasonable to say, oh, I was at a coffee bean, because I know the coffee bean he was at, and it is flanked on both sides by... A fuck, bodega. Bo- bo- that you uh, can yeah, get a shitty breakfast sandwich. A, deli, not true. a deli where you can get a breakfast sandwich. There's what the is one with true. the flowers in the front, right next to your apartment, and on the other side is... Uh, is uh, and give the address, too. Yeah. Just so people get an idea. Well, I'll give you a hint. Because <laughs> we're not just going to say Adam's address. <laughs> but... If the point is, yeah, Adam, if I had two princes <laughs> and one of them was <laughs> oh, OK, was the point is, <laughs> is that I asked, I text you because I was getting <laughs> coffee right. and Prince, it's a nice it's a nice Prince thing. Lafayette. It's a nice thing to do. And his brother, <laughs> a n- who's named after a number. Yeah. Uh, there was two princes, oh. one named Prince Lafayette and the other one named Prince Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> And their sister, 203. And their, yeah, their sister, <laughs> apartment. <laughs> <laughs> and they met, they, <laughs> and they all lived at 2 Lafayette. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that his actual No, address? No, it's not, right? No. I was going to, I was, listen, even, yeah. even in the middle of this war, I would say we should take his address out, Adam. So Why just understand, because we are in a war. Mm-hmm. 
in a conflict. I don't want to be in a war. The war of the hoses. The war of the yeah. It's about a gay couple that's getting divorced. <laughs> and they're peeing on and each other. They just have their dicks they out. They have uncircumcised dicks that look like hoses. Is Michael Douglas hanging from a chandelier by his dick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Kathleen Madigan, but she's got Kathleen a, Madigan, whatever the bitch's name is. I don't Kathleen fucking, Turner. I'm past the age where I'm. I'm gonna like. I've already. I've. I've been in the territory where I can't remember words for maybe four or five years now. Mm-hmm. And now I've reached the age where it's like, I don't even fucking care to get it correct. I'm not gonna be like, oh, what I meant was right. When it's out, it's out. Kath. Kath. Catherine Donegal plays the other man. Mm-hmm. She's one, got a penis. In from, Friends, she played she played a trans. The one from who who said Roger. Chandler's Chandler's mom, Chandler's dad became Chandler's. Who mom. said Roger Lando or whatever the movie? Who sucked the Roger? Roger who, sucked, who gave a Lodge's, who sucked Lodge's David Lodge's Mathau. to David Mathau's penis? <laughs> and she plays the bitch, the cartoon bitch. Yeah. So it's her, but in War of the Hoses, it's her with a. Sh- a short haircut because she's playing a fucking guy. This uh-huh. time. Oh, she's playing a guy. She's not a woman with a penis. And sh- no, and she's no. doing uh, gymnastics. She's squeezing. Because if Jessica Rabbit, somebody looked like Jessica Rabbit and she had a penis, I would suck it without even a moment's hesitation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just, just it's clear. How about Jessica Fat Shit? And it's a fat bitch cartoon. It's, it's <laughs> okay. got red hair. Yeah. She's like Roger. I'm 350 uh, pounds. Too? No. Oh, okay. That's my impression of her. That's, <laughs> that's just a stank. Roger. Fat vo- your fat vocal cords have a little in common with your retarded voice. Well, you, you, <laughs> you know, it's a, uh, it's, there's a little. They're both smoky. Smoky, yes. Yeah. One from barbecue. I guess Kat. She has Catherine, a smoky voice to begin with. Yeah, she has she a smoky does. voice, yeah. yeah. She kind of sounds like a like an aristocratic Down syndrome person. Right. A little <laughs> in between. Yeah. Um, My family owned all the candy in the world. (laughs) (laughs) We have candy for months. (laughs) Until Chairman Mao came into power. Until Fidel came into power. I love candy. (laughs) You could say that I'm simply daffy for candy. (laughs) Um, So... Is where we have a nice culture here where if somebody goes out to the bodega, somebody gets coffee, mm-hmm. we always offer, hey, I'm headed here. Mm-hmm. And in the past, I believe, you know, so, uh, Nick, I think, has asked for a muffin from Burley. And uh-huh. I've gotten it because that's my guy. And I want to make sure our recording of cho- chocolate croissant. I've got you the chocolate croissant. Never a yeah. muffin. I'm sorry, I got the muffin that time. You got the chocolate. Well, croissant. I don't know if they have muffins there. I don't want to put people on. They had some kind on. of muffin. There's a lot of people that are going to come to New York to see Adam's apartment or to <laughs> Lafayette Alley, <laughs> and they're going to stop by the famous Burley, mm-hmm. wearing their Comtown branded diaper, right? And they're like, let me have the Stav blueberry muffin so I can be like Stav. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to be like Stav. And, and yeah. like Stavy baby. I want the chocolate, the Nick Mullen chocolate croissant. And if they, and then they say they don't have the blueberry muffin, they're going to be like, they're liars. Right. They lied. I don't, you know what? Maybe I got some kind of biscuit. A scone, you mean? A scone. Yeah. Sorry. I'm not as familiar. The point is... A blueberry scone, which is a hard muffin. The point uh-huh. is, I asked, does anybody want coffee? Mm-hmm. Nick responds with a food item. I do my best to get him that food item. That's right. Because right. that's the kind of... Yeah, sure. Coffee is an expression. We're out. We're getting something. And I'm going to fuck you. I ass. was I'm at the coffee you, shop getting and coffee And you're telling before. me... And by the way, what what is it? Radio silence. You don't say to me, hey, pal... I'm at uh fucking you know I'm at the fucking coffee shop. They don't have breakfast sandwiches. Yeah. What you say to me is he did nothing. He what did you say to me is is absolutely nothing. He makes you. No, I thought you, you make said him, no. You made, I wanna... think, you made him think you're getting the sandwich, but you were like, oh, I don't. In the have absence, time. in the absence he got of a response. Ass. Oh, nice. Yeah. Thank you. It's back. In the absence of a fucking response, of course I would assume my friend. Is going to ignore me and not fulfill my wishes? No, I would never do him like that. Yeah. If on that day the Nick wanted a chocolate croissant, I get there and I say, hey, pal, they're out of them. Would you like a substitution? Well, that's something that's sold at a coffee shop. 
Sand- breakfast sandwiches are often sold at a coffee they, shop. Well, they don't don't have even them. fuck with me right now. They didn't have any. Fucker, dude. Don't even pretend a coffee shop doesn't half the time have a sandwich. And, this, and if they don't, they have some kind of. This is the kind. They of have shit, some dude. kind of pastry. Ugh. They have some kind of fucking uh, even a savory thing. People okay. say, There's something you could eat. People say, "Why does Adam get so much shit on the show? He's a nice guy. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, he seems like they they just bully him. He's just mm-hmm. a punching bag. Mm-hmm. And then you go and do some shit." Do something like this, Then you go and fucking act a dickhead. <laughs> act a damn motherfucking dickhead. I, on on some breakfast sandwich fucking... Oh, my and phone. I was too busy. Uh, I couldn't look at my phone. Yeah. Tell me, hey, pal, they ain't got fucking sandwiches here. Would you like a scone? Yeah. So Would you like a going, kind bar? You're going... Okay. Okay. You're going to... I'm clearly You're hungry. going to a pizza restaurant, right? Mm-hmm. To get a pizza. Don't even. See, and then, no, 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 no. Now no, we no, got to no, turn no, it into no, a no. fucking... No, no, no. Yeah, you go not, to a pizza no. restaurant and you say, hey, let me get some garlic knots or mozzarella sticks. That's a completely thank you. reasonable thank you. Okay, thank you. And you're, no, yes. no, 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 yes. You're, okay, listen. Mm-hmm. You're a good friend. You're at the pizza restaurant. You text me. You say, hey, Adam, I'm getting pizza. Do you want some? Right? Want pizza. Just like I was getting coffee. I said, stop. Do you want some? Okay, go ahead. And then I say, no... But I really want a MacBook Pro. Not even fucking close, you no. piece of shit. That's what you're it's saying. That's exactly to me right what now. Nick said. That is an no. item. How about this? That is not sold How about this? at the pizza How restaurant. How about this? If if I say I'm at the fucking pizza restaurant and you say, hey, I want a fu-, exactly what Nick said. Yeah. A garlic, garlic knot. Mass, or how about this? I want CD. Sticks. And you're like, oh, this one doesn't have CD. How about a slice? Yeah. Sure. Okay, fine. Fuck it. Also, how the fuck are we supposed to know you're at a coffee shop? A MacBook I'm fucking thinking, I'm thinking you're at I the I said at I'm the getting a coffee. Store. Stop. Do you want a coffee? At the corner And I said, store. no, I'd like a fucking breakfast sandwich. Hee hee. To even impl- and I show I sh- this is the he he implies I'm being a little slutty. Mm. I'm asking a little if, something from my friend. If they had I a breakfast that. sandwich, I would have gotten you a breakfast You could have said, hey, at this place, they don't have coffee. Because listen, my the coffee shop right by me doesn't have sandwiches, right? Ooh, but if you would ask me that. Interesting. But you know what they have, motherfucker? Croissants. Okay. They have ham and cheese croissants. Okay. They have something. Jeez, the ham and cheese croissant is basically exactly. a sandwich. sandwich. It's That's a, a sandwich. It's a sandwich. I guarantee. And you know what? Sealed. How about this? No, 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 no. Why don't we pull up the fucking coffee beans menu, in fact? Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's oh. pull up the fucking coffee. Oh, if you want to be damn. Mr. Lawyer, MacBook Pro at a fucking pizza restaurant, you fucking piece of shit. Let's pull, pull up. up the fucking coffee up. beans you know, fucking you're bringing, menu. You're bringing a lot of ugliness into the show I'm, today. You are. By, you this bring it out of me. People listen. People don't listen. To hear friends fight, they they listen. You're to hear bringing friends it the fuck out along. of me, and I'm going to you know? coffeebean.com right the fuck now. Yes, and I'm actually on the one right at your fucking apartment. No, you're not. I am. I know exactly the fuck. Yeah, we're friends, but we're also coworkers. And I'll tell you what. Yeah. If, if I was at my oh wait a second, hold on. Look at this drop down menu. If I was at my office job, and one of my coworkers said I'm getting lunch, and they didn't get me lunch. I call them a fucking piece of shit mm-hmm. in front of everybody. I was getting coffee and then getting in my and car. And by the way, because I didn't the, want to be late for the show. By the way, and you were late. I wasn't late. And I got by here the before way, I stopped. But we came here. Stop we was also the, late, but you were late too. No, I wasn't. And the reason we were delayed is because of you and, and listen, you, whatever. You delayed the show. And by the way, I wasn't going to bring any of this up until <sighs> you jump all over me for saying fuck Nick420 dabs, whatever the fuck his name is. And Nick, isn't this interesting? Look at coffeebean.com. Look at this drop down menu. Oh, coffee, cafe. What's tea, cafe menu? Cafe menu. All they Very had, interesting. All they had out were pastries. Oh, a pastry. I should have asked you if you wanted a, fu- a pastry. Oh, so now the tune changes no, when you're forced, when you're fucking, when the f- your feet are at the fucking fire. Oh, my God. Let's see if they have sandwiches. If they have sandwiches, it's going to be so funny. Coffee Bean. Our company. Co- is it Coffee Bean or like half the fake? It's coffeebean.com. I was grabbing a coffee before getting. So, in the do car, you say that they have and pastries? I asked you. Do you if admit you to yourself? Of course, that they, they have, have pastries. pastries. That's what they have out behind the window. Pastries. Mm. And maybe you could have said to me, "Hey, pal, they ain't got no fucking sandwiches." But how? About I thought a- you were just like, "I don't want coffee, but I'm gonna get a." But sandwich. what do I want? I want something to sustain me. I thought you were gonna get a sandwich, and you assumed that they didn't have fucking sandwiches. Why would I assume that? I don't know, dude. Half the places we get fucking coffee, they got sandwiches or something analogous. And that's what they a had. Pastry the is not analogous, it's to, analogous a sandwich. to a sandwich. No, it's not. Absolutely, it is. No, it's not. You don't like have a pastry for dinner. 
You could have a sandwich for dinner. Sometimes, well, they might have a savory fucking pastry. They might have a croissant with fucking cheese. That's not how civilized culture works. And you know, you know what's nice here, Adam? Yes. You snitched on yourself because the website doesn't list food, but you admitted that there was pastries. Mm. So of course, I kinda... there's pastries. It's a coffee shop. Oh, now it's a fu- now it's an of course situation. Oh my god. So, are you going to apologize? Apologize for offering you a coffee when I was getting one. Oh my god. Yes, I'm so sorry. You know, I'm pretty Un- sure they, I'm pretty sure they, so I've, I've been in there, and I'm pretty sure they have sandwiches in the. Uh, Can we actually? Why don't we call the coffee bean? Yeah, let's call. Oh, let's call him on the phone. Let's call him on the fucking phone. No, that's against the law. <laughs> it's not against the yes, law. Yes, it is. Shut the. F- oh. You're breaking New York State law. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's you know, actually, New York is one of the one places where you're allowed. to I do think this. that's true. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see what they have to say. Thank you for calling Coffee Man Antilo. This is Aaron. May I help you? Hey, do you sell sandwiches? We have uh, some sandwiches, yeah. We oh, have, interesting. Uh, wraps. What kind of sandwiches do you have? So I have an egg salad sandwich. I have a tuna wrap. Do you have Currently, like a- right now, I don't have a, I have a vegetable wrap usually. Do you, in the, do you have um, like um, breakfast sandwiches? Do you do that in the morning? Yeah, we have egg and hash burrito. Oh, okay. um, like a breakfast burrito. I have a broccoli, cheddar quiche. Okay. Egg okay. Quiche. But that's usually yeah. it, that's like quiche. in the morning, like 10, p- or 10 a.m. You'd usually. Have... I have it all day. Oh, all, all day. day. Okay. Great. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. That's oh. all we need. Thanks. Thank you so much. Nope. Wow. They didn't have a breakfast sandwich. Wow. <laughs> you said you wanted a breakfast sandwich. He wow. said a tuna sandwich. Oh, bro. Oh, my wow. God. Wow. That went worse for you than I ever, ever possibly expected to have. <laughs> You want a key? Why? You want me to get you a key? I'm a breakfast burrito all goddamn day. Those weren't behind the fucking glass. Did you? They just had pastries out. Mm, you've been exposed in a manner I didn't even think How? possible at the beginning How? of this grievance. How? I will accept nothing less than a full apology with no stank on it from you. No, I'm just never going to offer <laughs> you a coffee again. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So because you were wrong in this instance, you're going to wreck the beautiful culture we fucking created here over five years? I was being nice. And now you're punishing me for being no, nice. Yes, I was. Not. I was, not I was at being all. nice to you by saying, oh "Hey, I'm grabbing a God. coffee. I'm grabbing a coffee before I head over to Nick's to do the show." You said none of that. That's what I was. I the text right before that was, "Hey, Nick, I'm headed to you." And then I said, "Stav, do you want a coffee?" <clears throat> headed to you, Nick. Stav, you want a coffee? No, but I want a sandwich. Hee hee. I didn't even say breakfast sandwich. Okay. Yeah. I didn't even fucking I say got, breakfast sandwich. I should have got you a tuna fish sandwich. You could have said what they have. I assumed Don't you were just going to get a sandwich at the deli this when you start, got here. This started as a bit, but right now, the way no. you're digging your fucking heels ridiculous. in, I'm pissed off right now. I was being, I was being a and good boy. And for you to keep saying, I'm, I'm looking I was up being the rules nice. of Rosh Hashanah because I think one of them is you have to get people breakfast. <laughs> Rosh Hashanah is over. Uh, no, sir. <laughs> I'm looking up, and while we're looking that up, you might want to check out <laughs> bluechew.com. Adam, why don't you do a little penance <laughs> for the audience? Honestly, man, I'm. I actually, what I feel bad about is that you've been exposed as a bad guy to the audience. Mm-hmm. I I don't feel bad about bringing this up. I feel bad that now people are going to think of you lower, but I you do deserve it. But I don't yeah. want you to have to f- go through oh. that because you're my friend. Mm-hmm. But you, people are going to look at you in a different light yeah. now. People loved me before. They do, and they yeah. did. Yeah, and you, I don't. Guys, I don't want you, them to stop you loving did, you. You gotta act. You did. Dickhead. You did nothing for five years to damage my <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> that's, a, that's unimpeachable the, that's, name. That's within the confines of the show. Okay, this is real life. This is the fucking behind the scenes. Okay. Now, why don't you tell us what, how to get our dicks hard? Before that, I want to tell you that if you live in Nashville, I'm going to be there on October 1st and 2nd with Mike Racine. Co-headlining, Nashville, Tennessee ticket links will be up soon. Anyway, BlueChew.com. And I will be in Minneapolis this very week. This episode is sponsored by BlueChew. Acme. Say it with us, BlueChew. <laughs> Blue Chew is making waves by bringing confidence to the bedroom by ordering, uh, by offering chewable tablets that help men grow stronger and longer lasting erections. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew tablets help men achieve stronger erections that combat, combat all forms of erectile dysfunction. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor, no awkward conversations, no waiting in line at the pharmacy. 
and it ships to your door in discreet packaging. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with a licensed medical provider, and once you're approved, you'll receive all your prescription within days. The best part, it's all online. Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your penis. Mm-hmm. You don't like swallowing pills? <clears throat> no problems here. You can chew them. These are chewable tablets. Uh, Blue Chew's uh, Seletophil and t- uh, Tadalafil tablets are chewable. The tablets are made in the USA, and they prepare and ship directly to you. Mm-hmm. So it's cheaper than a fucking pharmacy. That's right. And you know maybe you could you could benefit from the confidence when it's time to perform, and if yeah. you can go to bluechew dot com. Bluechew dot com is sort of like a supportive friend for your penis. Maybe your maybe bluechew dot com says, "Hey, hey, hey, penis, do you want sildenafil?" And then your penis says, "No, I'd like tadalafil instead." And but you know what bluechew would never do? Bluechew would never ignore that request. And then when it shows up, be like, "Oh, sorry, I was at the sildenafil place." They don't even have to dial Phil. Mm-hmm. And then you would call BlueChew.com and you would check the website and you would see, oh, wait, they had to dial Phil the whole time. You could have just given me to dial Phil, BlueChew. BlueChew would never treat you like that. BlueChew would get you whatever you wanted, mm-hmm. would it get your penis whatever it needed, even if it wasn't exactly what, what it had in store. Uh, go to BlueChew.com and, it's, and enjoy the friendship between BlueChew.com and its chewable tablets, and your penis. BlueChew.com, always there to support you like your friend should. Promo code CUMTOWN. Promo code CUMTOWN. You receive your first month free. Just pay $5 shipping. That's a good deal. That's a great deal. BlueChew.com, chew your tablets for your dick Mm -hmm. because you can. Why don't you keep talking about it for a minute, Adam? Why? Because I'm still looking up the Rosh Hashanah rules. (laughs) Why are you looking that up? Because I'm pretty sure you're going to Jewish hell. <laughs> we don't believe in hell. Yeah, you do. No, Jews don't believe in hell. No. You got something. I'm getting close here. Even if I have to hack Where do they go? If where, where, do, where do guys who uh, betray their friends go in the faith, out of curiosity? Let me uh, ask you this. If you think that's real, that Jews don't, they don't believe in hell, they mm-hmm. don't have hell, right? Yeah. And this is, this is, a, and this is a sort of a thought experiment. <laughs> As they say in some of the alt-right circles. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> if, the, if Jews don't believe in hell, mm-hmm. yes. and uh, you believe in an equitable world, right? Yeah. So, which means that, uh, you know, not in equality of outcomes, but it like, you know, like things, uh-huh. are, things are fair. Right. Wouldn't that mean that some of the Jews should be burning and tortured? I don't to, think so. To I balance don't, out... I don't actually think you could draw the that Christians conclusion. that are going to hell, despite... Oh, I see, I Because see. a lot of Christians will go to hell. Sure. You can be the most Christian guy in the world. It's like, you know, look, Somebody's got to get in there. There's a limited amount of space. It's the fucking clouds. Yeah. If you overfill they, them, people fall through. start falling through, they splat all over Earth. In fact, you need more people in hell to keep the Earth from collapsing in on itself right. due to gravity. In the middle of Earth is hell. Yeah, and the audacity of Jews to say, "Oh, well, we don't go to there. We, we don't just, believe it. We all go to heaven no matter what. We go to Abraham's bosom. You don't go to heaven immediately. Where, Where do you, you go? go? There's like a spiritual cleansing process. That and is it at bluechew.com? dot com? Yeah, promo Where code. Where Jews go down. before they go to hell? <laughs> So there's no hell where you, if you're bad, you just have to get cleansed longer? Yeah, think about like Hitler would have, he'd be on a... a He's still cleansed. He'd be on a heavy wash. You know? Right, right, mm-hmm. right. Extra, he'd be on the... Extra rinse. Extra rinse, <laughs> rinse cycle. <laughs> Damn. Well, don't like swallowing pills, no problem here, because Blue Chews... <laughs> we talked about that. We said that verbatim. Yeah, we and said, Tadalafil, we read that. Tadalafil, Sildenafil, Tadalafil. Nick, I don't know if you heard this, but... Of this analogy, but Blue Chew is like a good friend for your penis. It's like a good friend for your penis that would get you a breakfast sandwich. That would get you a breakfast sandwich? He did not say breakfast sandwich. Oh, I'm sorry. He would get you a sandwich. Any kind of sandwich. Any kind of sandwich. You're not helping yourself. You really don't understand here. You're you're playing this little... uh, You're attacking my character. Really, the way way you've responded... The way you've responded, Adam, is really like... I'm honestly hurt the way you responded to this. Why? Your attitude... You, you, your defensiveness. You're digging your heels in. You're trying to get me on a technicality. Because I was doing a you nice got a bunch thing. of turds. Again, you, there it goes be. again. 
Instead of a heart, you got a pile of dog shit in your chest. You were doing a nice thing, but at the same time, it's the kind of nice thing we all do for each other it's constantly. Just pumping a bunch of undigested corn through your veins. Mm hmm. And you got a fucking, you got a, like a little scarecrow peanut brain filled with fucking dog shit. That's corn. right. You're doing a poo joke right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, what you're, I'm telling you about your body. I'm telling it's you about not your my soul. body. <laughs> Blue juice, sildenafil, and tadalafil tablets. We already are chewable. said this. <laughs> we already said this. <laughs> and they're made in the USA. Nashville, Tennessee, October first and second. Well, listen. This weekend, and come dot town if you want to buy a T-shirt. They are still not paying me. They're pretending <laughs> there's something wrong with the quote unquote royalties system, mm. whatever oh. that means. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm sure the company is uh, that prints the shirts has just gone out of business. Yep, <laughs> keeping all the money, and they're floating and they're paying themselves out before the whole thing collapses. Sounds golden about right. parachute. <laughs> but that means if you want a shirt, now is the chance to get it because I will not put the effort in to make f- figure out a way to do it exactly. This because I uh-huh. have been. So burned by the experience of letting somebody... I'll tell you, when I did it myself, everybody got their fucking shirt. I messed mm-hmm. up maybe two orders. Yep. And as they were switched. Yep. And I did what I could to make it right by blocking the emails of the people that <laughs> complained. Uh, and listen, this weekend, <laughs> the 16th through the 18th, I'm in Acme, Minneapolis. Then next week, I'm in San Antonio for a little midweek delight. Wednesday the 22nd, Thursday the 23rd. San Antonio, buy those tickets. Tickets going fast. Yeah. And uh, then Cleveland, Phoenix, Madison, all that kind of good shit. Um, Stavi.biz slash tour, You know what I just got a hankering for is the Ben and Jerry's on the San Antonio Riverwalk. Ooh, I think I'm going to go ahead and put that in the itinerary. Dude, I might come down just to have some chips and salsa. <laughs> just come, the, come <laughs> down for some fucking... A little bit of queso. Yeah. Yeah. Some fucking uh, carne asada. A nice Riverwalk. Mm-hmm. Maybe meet a big fat Hispanic. Oh, I'm family. trying to get sucked yeah. off by some big Hispanic titties. A big, a big fat, a, a Mexican family of four that weighs right around 1,800 pounds. Yep, four <laughs> uh, average height four seven. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a, a Hispanic family, mom, dad, son, daughter, and they weigh as much as a Ford Expedition <laughs> <laughs> combined. <laughs> That's right. They're like, yeah, we're going to dinner. <laughs> You're like, it's 11.30 a.m. <laughs> They're like, well, we already had breakfast and lunch. <laughs> the fuck is this supposed to be called? <laughs> breakfast tree? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> well, then what do you call dinner? Dinner nine, bitch. <laughs> That's so true. We have breakfast, lunch, dinner, dinner two, dinner three, dinner four, dinner cinco, <laughs> dinner six, <laughs> dinner seven, dinner ocho, and dinner nine. Yep. <clears throat> and tell you what, blue cheese, sildenafil, and tadalafil. We already said that. They're chewable. <laughs> and there's yeah. a special deal for our listeners. Try blue chew free when you use promo code GOMTOWN. That's C O M T O W N N. They check out just pay for dollar shipping. Mm-hmm. That's bluechew.com, promo code GOMTOWN to receive your first month free. Gracias. And we we thank you, blue chew, for sponsoring the podcast. That's so funny that they wrote that in there. And we yeah. thank you. We thank, thank you, Blue Chew. Thank you, Blue Chew. We are so grateful that I'm you're just paying right, us to do a service for you. Writing I'm your curtsying. Own, writing, thank you so much. Writing your own thank you. I actually have to, like, can't, like not cancel, but pause. It's nice to let you pause the subscription. Because mm. Blue Chew, the whole thing is premised on you uh, getting pussed. totally overestimating how much, how you're much gonna pussy be, you're going to get. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah absolutely. Yeah. You're like, damn, I have 900 pills. In my <laughs> yeah, I should probably pause my shit, too. Mm. Now I'm gonna. I'm just gonna be buried with these, like a like a pharaoh. Like king, yep. King fuck. King king fuck uncommon. <laughs> <laughs> the boy penis king. The boy, pe- <laughs> the baby penis. The king. baby penis king. Do not use the phrase. No, no, don't oh, say that. Sorry, <laughs> don't no. say all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, damn, there's a lot of shit. There's a lot. We're we're we and we used to say and that. All, that used to be basically the whole ad read. Yeah, it kind of feels like they listened to one of our early ad reads and said, "Don't do this." Yeah, because it's an actual it medication. Up with Fourteen bullet points. It's an actual medical product mm-hmm. that you can't mix. You'll, you'll like this. About. When I looked up that Rosh Hashanah, the rules for Rosh Hashanah, half that article were about canceling debts <laughs> and different rules for how like debts go before the Jewish court on mm. Rosh Hashanah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with that? Oh, what's wrong? With you want to keep people in debt? No. I think usually just a, it's just kind of something that maybe I think it's a lot nice of, to cancel debts. 
I just think a lot of people should maybe re reread that part of the rules. Yeah. That's all we're saying. What how am I, how are you guys indebted to me? Not you. I'm in general. Oh, okay. Dude, I'm so happy it's almost fall. I know you love fall. I got my little reading nook. I got my pipe. Get my pipe out. Oh, it's pipe season. Yeah, and it's fat guy season. It's fat guy season. It's track suit season. Oh, uh-huh. it's the, all the best time of the year, dude. Yeah. I honestly, I, 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 I really can't do. wait to get head in a cardigan. I wish I was a father. I would take. I would go on. I would get maybe get a, secretly a little drunk. <laughs> put on a, <laughs> a track suit. Drive my children to somewhere. I don't know. Like find a place that has one of those like. Uh, Antique trains that goes up side of a mountain, mm. like a coal mm-hmm. a coal burning train. Yes, yeah, sure. And then just uh, have some do- cider donuts. Yeah, smoke a cigar on the train. People tell me I can't do that. <laughs> I'm like, well, the fucking train smoking. Yep. And then I'm, we're going back in time. And I got little airport shooters that I'm hitting, and my kids aren't really enjoying. They're having a horrible time. The trip, but I'd say to them, someday I'll be dead, and you'll try and figure out what this meant. <laughs> <laughs> That'll keep you going for a while. Yeah. I don't know if that's love, but it'll certainly be a moment it's in your life. It's kind of a mystery. No, you're making memories. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's love. I'm trying to think. What, what's a good memory I have of my father? Um, we went to, when I was a, like four years old, we went to the Maryland State Fair, and I met Raphael, the Ninja Turtle. Maybe when he showed cool. you his uh, penis, and you thought maybe one day my dick will be that big. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. but then he late, much later in life, broke your heart by not your dick by dick not again. never. You know, I used to think that my dick would never reach my father's lengths, mm-hmm. and then, but the thing you have to remember is your look in your memory. It's seared into your. Like through the eyes of a yeah, four-year-old. Yeah, I saw yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. when I was four. I saw a lot of grown men's dicks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you know. true. That's true. I've, you I've, got me there. I've been what they call. I've taken a stroll around the bazaar. <laughs> you, <laughs> you've bested your old man. I've seen oh yeah, the, the in, merchandise. In the, yeah, you were used in a very Afghani way as a boy. Yeah, many could say. Mm-hmm. And I think my dick is probably you know, it's not. I don't know. If I would have to look at it. I haven't seen my dad's penis in years, but yeah. I mm-hmm. think we're probably maybe that's how you, got me you by squash the bit. You call him up and you're like, "Let's settle this one." Let's settle it. If your dick's bigger, <laughs> I apologize. <Yeah. laughs> if my dick's bigger, you apologize. Yeah. <laughs> that might be the only way it's ever going to get done. That's <laughs> fair, dude. That's, that's the only <laughs> fair way to do it. That's one of the Rosh Hashanah rules. <laughs> Mishnah Torah: Laws of Charity, mm-hmm. gifts uh-huh. to the poor. Well, it sounds terrible. Yeah. There are eight levels of tzedakah. Tzedakah. Shut the fuck up. One each greater than the other. The greatest level, (laughs) higher than all the rest, is to fortify a fellow Jew and give him a gift, a loan, form within him a partnership, or find work for him until he is strong enough so that he does not need to ask others for Mm -hmm. help. Teach a man to fish, exactly. Of this, it is said, if your kinsman, being in straits, comes under your authority and you hold him... As though a resident alien let him live by your side. That, so basically what they're saying is if your, male, friend asks you, if your friend asks you to get him a sandwich, right? Mm-hmm. not only are you supposed Build to get him, him a, you got, yeah, a sandwich. You got you to gotta get that sandwich, brother. All right, man. I will. Because let's say, for example, this mean, what this means is you're no longer Jewish. <laughs> that's and fine by and me, You may dude. think that that's a good thing, but when you strip that away and you're who you are, and you're not Jewish? And you're not A Jewish? white guy that behaves like A you do? A white guy that behaves mm-hmm. like this? <sighs> Good God. Yeah. yeah. What is what that? What am I? What is, egregious. Terrible. You Imagine you trying to go to like an Irish pub and hang out with the way you are. Mm-hmm. You would get the shit kicked out of you. Mm-hmm. Still? By the, Still? By the pubman. Mm-hmm. I just put on all imagine the a Red bunch Sox of, stuff. Imagine a bunch of Italians... Hanging out with you, and you're like, "Have you guys seen the new uh, fucking Janice film? The new Janice Joplin movie? <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you guys know about Criterion? What are you saying the new Jan? Oh, Janice films? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fucking new release. Have you seen? That's so funny to ask. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "What the fuck?" And they're they're all raping you. Yeah. They're yeah. all making you they're suck like, their dicks. We only watch fucking shit like Toy Story. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> cars, cars too. What the hell is this? I've never heard of Criterion. I'm too stupid. (laughs) I'm too stupid to watch a movie. (laughs) I'm not a fucking intellectual that can sit down and fucking let let some movie fucking seep into his brain and not really 
care or feel anything about it, but you did it. Mm -hmm. You can check that one off the list. Yeah, you were there. You were on the couch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The credits rolled. Yep. It's kind of a metaphor for us rolled. You out of coffee bean without a fucking sandwich. In your hand. <laughs> I'm gonna go pee. I'm gonna go pee right now, and I oh, want an a- I want an attitude well, adjustment. Oh, you want, I an, want attitude an attitude adjustment? Adju- I want you an want attitude, attitude adjustment. adjustment. Yes, I do. Adjust my dick, motherfucker. Adjust it into your mouth. You're the one who needs to change this whole fucking shit up. I really, I really can't believe I didn't get my apology. Man. I mean, yeah. we had him dead. To the phone call. Yeah. He's gonna li- that guy crushed his whole defense. Oh yeah. Oh no, we have breakfast sandwiches all day. All day. We also have non con <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, we do. Yeah. We got wraps. We got it's like, oh my Yeah. I mean that keep in mind, folks, that was the coffee bean he was at. The exact one. This is not this was not We didn't call corporate. Yeah. We didn't call like the fucking uh, You heard him. He said this is Ernesto at the Two Princes coffee shop. <laughs> the two princes of Lafayette coffee shop. Yeah. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. Because you know, now you know. Like, a jokes aside, you know they had sandwiches. There. I was really just fucking with him. I, I was know. like, this will be three minutes of the podcast. Yeah. And he digs his heels in. I, yeah. And I really thought they probably don't have sandwiches. It's of probably, course. You know, I just oh, yeah, thought it's a pastry. It's free, whatever. Yeah. They he could have texted me back, but no big deal. Right. They have a full, more sandwiches than I've ever heard of. That's like what sub, mm. the amount of sandwiches Sam, Subway has. Yeah. Unbelievable stuff. Yeah. You know, he, yeah, and you know. What was it for real, Adam? Be honest. Was the sandwich too expensive? <laughs> yeah. What's the reason you didn't was get it a an sandwich? eight dollar sandwich? <laughs> what are you talking and about? You just thought just the sandwich was a bad deal. Be honest. That you were like, just tell me the reason. I you looked like, behind the glass and I just saw pastries. Okay. And then I was like, all right, I'm gonna get in the car and go. He doesn't want a coffee. So you're what calling about Rodrigo. The, what about liar? the fucking board? What? You're telling me behind there was no board that lists what sandwiches they had. You're set, you're acting like this guy on the phone. There's some secret menu at Coffee Bean that people don't know about. Oh, I just got a uh, 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 notification from the Citizen app that there is a fire at the Galileo Temple. Oh shit! Which I'm assuming is a synagogue, and uh. <laughs> uh, I and it's a kitchen fire at the Galileo Temple. So. Um, you're right. Maybe there isn't a hell. Maybe God seeks punishment for your actions on earth. Mm-hmm. And it's probably true. There's something here. I, I can't help but think that these two are related. Uh, yeah, kitchen fire at Galileo Temple. I Why think, would Jews name? I think it's saying Galileo. it's some kind of Italian thing. Actually, uh, I think it's uh, the synagogue. hall was used by the local Sicilian community. That's a type of Jewish, and was popular in its day with local anarchist groups. What the fuck? Okay, well, a different kind of Jewish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've never heard of this in my life. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. So, finish the question that Nick was asking you, Adam. Okay, finish Oh, Adam, question. also, you probably want to talk about your underwear for a while. No, it's I don't want to talk piece, about my it's underwear. It's the second piece of paper. <laughs> Get the second it's unfair. piece. unfair. Get the second piece of paper I out. I was asking you if Get you Get it out coffee. now. Stop. Okay, that's, honestly, this is, that's the most egregious part of your defense. Why? You're acting like you're some fucking saint for no, asking if, you, I was if just I want a coffee. Thoughtful. We all ask each other if we want coffees yeah. if we're going to get fucking coffee. Yeah, it's a nice that's thing that baseline. you do. It's a nice thing that that's I do. That's a baseline. You don't nice. get fucking credit for being nice. Yeah. If you're, ba- if you're not nice, you're a piece of shit. Everyone should just be nice. Okay? Yeah. You're, I buy lunch whenever we go out. I buy lunch wherever there's an opportunity. We get I lunch buy, all the time. I buy lunch, too. We buy sometimes. lunches. Okay? And we always ask for coffee. You're a busy yeah. guy. You buy a bunch. You so buy stop bunch, thinking bunches about of, what to bunches wear of pornography. and just em- embrace the radical... You're a busy guy, so stop thinking about what to wear and just embrace the radically efficient Mack Weldon daily, daily wear. wear system. The daily wear system is a selection of clothes rooted in smart design. Daily wear system, what is that, like Trevor Noah's fucking... Uh, yeah. His clothes? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The Daily Show, Daily, daily Wear. Daily Show Wear system. And he's like, oi, bruv, look, I'll go into Mack Weldon and I'll go to do rag for my uh you know my a businessman's do rag business do rag and uh i was <coughs> born in uh, uh south, south africa. africa uh but from the looks of me you think i was born in fucking the rest of africa <laughs> for folks south africa <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah, he could have been born in the rest of Africa. Yeah, Daily Wear System. And let's move on. I'm Trevor Noah, and the, the, the Daily, Daily Wear, Wear system, system 
It's a selection of clothes rooted in a smart design, <laughs> made with a performance fabric and built with work together. From breathable t shirts and polos, stylish button ups and shorts, underwear and beyond. Mac Weldon makes it easy for you to dress for work, leisure and play, or wherever su- your summer takes you, be it to jail for child pornography, mm-hmm. or to the coffee bean to ignore polite requests from a friend <laughs> to purchase him a sandwich. <laughs> Talk about your favorite Mac Weldon products. Let's I- see. I like the underwear. Now these, I'll tell you one thing about Mac Weldon is they give me a they, there's a separate promo code not uh, come down twenty, 20. which is your promo code, but a separate one that gets me the shit for free. The fuck? Where is, where's my one? Yeah, you haven't told us about that because it's extremely complicated. And then every time I wow. went to it, uh, wow, this is the good friend Olympics today. Uh, you want? I negotiate. You know, the I was just gonna say I, I feel okay. Okay, for all right, all and right. It's, Boot, it's also not. Licking ass it's not stuff. unlimited. It's he usually, does all the work with the ads. He That's, gets to have a couple extra pairs it's, of underwear. It's yeah. it's well, uh it's usually like a seventy five dollar credit or something. Right. And it's mostly so I buy the shit and then I talk about liking it. But for a while the underwear that I liked was sold out and then I kinda slept on it and then what happens is the fucking code they give me expires. Mm, so it's like no. you have a month to buy underwear. And mm. it's like, well, I don't even know if I'm going to shit the ones I have. I know, and I only get new underwear if I shit in it. I know. I'm trying to pair... Because I, wa- I was switching all of my shit over to Mack Weldon, but then you kind of need... I feel like I need underwear that just gets filled with, to like... To get shit in it. To get shit, and you kind of piss yourself a little a bit. A little bit, sure. Because putting you use on it a, to wipe cum. Putting a, a fresh pair of Mack Weldons on, they feel nice. It makes me feel like fucking James Bond. Absolutely. Which is going to be a black lady now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you believe that? Mack Weldon. But she wears black, Mack Weldon. <laughs> black yeah. Weldon. Black, black la- ladens. Uh, fr- from breathable t-shirts and polos. And stuff. We said that already. Yep. But I like the daily, whatever their, their three-pack is mm-hmm. with like the flat collars. Yes. Those are nice. That's my shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Breathable. Honestly, the best uh, underwear. They got, they got, they got sweat shorts that'll fucking tickle your nuts, too. The ace sweat shorts mm-hmm. have modern tailoring and prayer perfectly. There you go. For the, for the ultimate lazy Sunday. The ultimate, ultimate lazy soft, Sunday. The ultra ace sweat shorts. upgraded p- Pima tea. Now, see, I hate that shit. Fuck a lazy Sunday. You got to work hard constantly. Uh-huh. Get the ace sweatpants, but then you... Go to work. Drive as fast as you can in your car on the mm-hmm. highway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. one of the things I like to do as a millionaire, jet set millionaire fucking businessman. Yep. Is speeding. Speeding on drugs. On drugs in my ace sweatshorts. Uh, commit, commit. Actually, I do need a new pair of shorts. So I might go. Let's go. Let's hear the radius shorts. That's the thing that they're offering now. Let's take a look at that. And you know what? For weekend travels, both near and far, mm-hmm. the, the silver knit polo, silver polo and amazing in ra- radius shorts are the perfect uh, high tech. What is it called? Wolf of Wall Street. Um, oh, oh Mac, Mac Weldon. Weldon. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna look up MacWeldon.com too because I actually need new. I need to. I need to re up on all the underwear. Yeah. They really do have a lot of great stuff. Oh, so the pace setter, shop the story. This is the new thing they got here now. Mm-hmm. Some guy running around in a bunch of bunch of fucking flowers. Smart workout gear engineered for what really moves you. Mm-hmm. Which the only reason to work out is to Yeah, I'm a, listen, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a fucking traditional guy. I like the eighteen hour jersey boxer brief. Yeah, dude, that shit's money. It's good shit. That's sort of the Coke classic, and then the rest mm-hmm. of the shit mm-hmm. is like vanilla Coke or whatever. The mm-hmm. new arrival. They got a whole fucking lineup. Now. You can get oh, a good. Know. I've never They've tried really this come stealth. a long way, dude. It's it's hard to even call this a fucking underwear company. They're not. No, it's dude. t-shirts. I, I feel like they sweats. Mm-hmm. I feel like they don't even want us to say that. It's anymore. a basics company. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Let's see what the whole new arrival. Now the are. briefs. They got those too. If you're European or your penis isn't cut or whatever. <laughs> Well, I'm both, and I still go back to No, you wear tidy whities I don't. Yeah, you do. You're like, you're like, where the hell are you? With tidy whities with suspenders. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. Where the hell? I'm trying to eat. And you eat cottage cheese in your clawfoot tub and yell I've at your fat wife that. in your, in your Lower East Side tenement. She <laughs> yells at you about yeah. being no good. 
Stop, Rose. Get out of the tub. Yeah, yeah, Fuck you. I should have listened to my mother. <laughs> I'm reading. I'm reading the funny papers in here. <laughs> I wish you would have, you fucking bitch. I'm trying to read the fucking cartoons. <laughs> You're no good. Everything you touch turns to shit, Stop, Rose. <laughs> Uh, fuck you, whore. You're a two-time loser. Um, all right, let's see shorts. Maybe if I had a little fucking support in my own house. The Maverick Tech Chino shorts. Wow. Radius short, that looks new. The Maverick shorts, that's uh, obviously a tribute to... John the, McCain. The, the deceased John McCain. Dude, I had way too many fucking shorts, and then, like, I was like, I gotta pair these down. I donated some of them to Goodwill. And then I realized I gave away all of my shorts. Zero shorts now. I have one pair of shorts, but they got a giant fucking hole in the pocket. That sucks. Yeah. So I need new shorts. That freaking effing sucks. There needs to be, they need to make shorts with a uh, like a reinforced pocket so you can put uh, knives in there. Yeah. Um, yep. yep. So they got the Radius short, the Maverick Tech Chino short, the Ace Sweat short, two-pack Ace Sweat shorts, Stratus Active short. These all look pretty good. Mm-hmm. But, uh, a lot of good stuff. You know, I don't really know much. They got much they stuff. got fucking gators. Yeah, they look scarves, good. swim trunks, bags, wallets. They got tech cashmere gloves. Ooh. Oh, their Ooh. stealth boxer briefs are also listed in the swim trunk section. Mm, you can go swimming in them. You can, go, yeah, you can go skinny dipping. Yep. Long underwear. That's coming up. You're gonna need a pair of long johns if you're oh, new yeah. to the city. A lot of folks, they listen to this show and they move mm-hmm. here and be like, stop. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I need long underwear You're for the You're going to need long underwear. More than a fuckers. jacket, more than anything. Look, the, Adam can tell you, the first couple of years I was here, I was going around nothing but a hoodie and jeans, and I stayed warm. And that's because I wore fucking long, long johns, long johns, and then also a layer of duct tape, <laughs> uh-huh. yep. which you can get at MacWeldon dot com. Check out the yep, duct tape duct section, tape. the silver knit duct tape, silver technology. knit duct tape, antimicrobial. Yeah, I miss the days where the read was all about the antimicrobial shit. Antimic. Yeah. Imagine a guy named Mike Robial, and he's like, "I smell like shit because I'm covered in microbes." Mm-hmm. And that's my name, Mike Ro- Dirty Jobs of Mike. Bro- Mike Robial. Mike Robial. Uh, so buy some time. So with Mac. Excuse me. Uh, so, oh, it's n- go ahead. What? No. Okay. Uh, so buy some time this summer with Mac Weldon Daily Wear System for twenty percent off your first visit. Visit macweldoncom slash town twenty and enter promo code cometown twenty. That's MacWeldon.com slash CometTown20, promo code CometTown20 for 20% off. Mac Weldon, radically efficient wardrobing. Horrible. Oh, my God. Why? What was wrong with that? that I tried to do like an announcement. It sounded like you're reading off the piece of paper. That's what I was doing. <laughs> I, that's not how... You, but you it's got to want... sound natural. Mm-hmm. Watch so this. you do it. This, yeah. this He's is, about to. This is coming from a guy that... <laughs> Has done maybe two or three radio spots. Okay, so yeah. do, it, do it. I'm what they call in the business a pro. This yeah. man's been on Fox News' Red Eye. I was on Fox News. I was in a Geico radio spot. <laughs> yeah, that's I right. That. That's they right. just stopped paying me for it at some point. <laughs> Buy some time this summer with the Mac <laughs> Wilden Daily System. 20% off your first order. Visit MacWilden.com. Slash comes down 20. Intent to promo code penis style <laughs> Nazi. That's Mac Penis dot ass. <laughs> and fuck me and my pussy. That's pretty good. And he's, I don't even need to look at I don't even he's need to got look at it. You did better than I got me. it down. I this, admit it. I'm bested. Hey, this is a big fuck you to everyone out there in Radio City. Show me a penis and let me suck your tits. That's right. MacWeldon.com slash cometown20. Mm-hmm. Annie, are you okay? Can I fuck you? <laughs> let me fuck you, Annie. <laughs> <laughs> Annie, can I fuck you? Can I fuck you and your pussy, Annie? Let me see your pussy. Let me fill it with my penis, Annie. And I can I fuck you in your pussy? Can I fuck you, Annie? Can I see your penis? Annie, can I fuck you? Can I fuck you? Can I fuck you, Annie? <laughs> and I can I fuck you in your pussy? Let me smell your pussy. <laughs> Does it smell like Doritos? Mm. Your pussy. Let me sniff it, Annie. I want to have like a hidden camera show, mm-hmm. and. Um, 
like, you know, you just go, you film it across the street, and I want, like, a long stick with a big, like, cartoon nose on the end, mm. like a big foam nose. Mm-hmm. And I'm just, like, putting it, to like, on women's vaginas yeah. <laughs> from, like, 15 feet away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Social experiment. Yeah. yeah. And then... Um, it's a nose? It's like a big giant nose. Oh, I see. So you're and smelling it. there's wires it. coming out of it that go to my own nose. So you oh, could wow. smell so their the pussy. End, yeah. So I'm just, I've got this like big, and it's hooked up. And to it's like doing a, like a, a, yeah. It's scrunching, like <laughs> it's <laughs> sniffing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like a boom mic for <laughs> yeah, a nose. It's like a boom mic, but then it goes yeah. to my nose. First, the wires go to a backpack, and there's like lights on the computer. Mm, it's like boop, 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 and it goes right, to my nose. Right. And then there's a speaker on the back that's like, bit filthy. <laughs> it's disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Nice pussy. Nice pussy, bitch. <laughs> Your pussy yeah. smells tasty. And then people are like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "It's a hidden camera." Yeah. Show. <laughs> <laughs> Look over there and yeah. there and there. Even though you're holding it, yeah, I'm all <laughs> you're holding the camera. You're holding. I'm the, holding the, the camera. Nose. Oh, and the nose. I've got a GoPro on my head. Yeah, yeah, head. yeah, I'm like, it's a hidden camera. It's show. hidden. They're like, yeah, it looks clear. You're filming this. What's the name of the show? It's called Smelling Women's Pussies. The Pussy Smell of Vision Hour. Yeah, it's called Impractical Pussy Smell. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we should do impractical pussy smellers. Mm-hmm. That that'd be a good idea. <laughs> Go to We could probably get listen, we could probably get Sal Volcano to appear. Go to mm-hmm. Equinox and like I'm gonna snake I, snake the thing into a yoga class. I don't wanna brag, but I I'm, I'll text Sal Volcano and say I have an idea. It's impractical pussy smellers. Mm-hmm. Can you get us a spin off? That'd be pretty cool. If you got true T V on board. I think we could do it. We could do anything we want. Yeah. Poo, yeah. poo TV, yeah. Poo TV. We could shit on ourselves. Mm-hmm. We could take a shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We could go to the bathroom. Yeah, it's just uh, people pooing mm-hmm. the entire time. Poo. It's not bad. Yep. Yeah. What about a reality show about people that fold paper airplanes? Like uh, like, like Asian people that are really good no, at it. Just regular. Just folks. regular. Folks. Well, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Asian people fall under the umbrella of regular folks. No, but they, like, do origami, so yeah. I would assume that they'd be really good at paper airplanes. Not every Asian does origami. I'm saying the ones that do. Mm. The paper folding Adam experts. Does, Adam mm. does snorigami. Right. right? He, he, tells a story, he tells a story that's got so many unnecessary twists and turns that you fall asleep listening to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do do that. <laughs> the Adam, Adam, here comes another one of Adam's lullabies. Oh, it looks like I got a text. <laughs> From who? From Stavros. I'm sorry about you what I said about you that. Wish. You were being a good friend. You were... not All right, thank you. You I were appreciate barely... the text. I didn't, you d- text I didn't have to read shit. it on the show. I didn't have to I read didn't it on the show. I didn't text you shit. I didn't have to read it on I the show. I didn't text you shit, and you owe me an apology I... for your conduct this morning. Mm-hmm. I apologize. How do we report Adam to the government of Texas for trying to get an abortion? <laughs> That's true. I'm going to do that. Can we report uh, your ex-girlfriend? Who? Uh, we the, don't have to say. The Chinese either. one that got an abortion. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, oh, man. What? No, what time we... frame is that? We got to beep that yeah, whole thing. Uh, we have to beep 56, that 56, 58, it was when you said it. How are they going to fucking know who I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, they know. Pretty easily, actually. They know. Uh, can we they actually do know. A hundred percent. Do they live in Texas? It yes. doesn't matter. The, the internet, you could be anywhere. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know that, right? Texas is giving bounties. That's out. so fucking wild. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like if you got an abortion, snitch on this person, Dude, mm-hmm. you get ten, 10 grand. It's $10,000. I will absolutely tell. <laughs> <laughs> they got, yeah, they got Chuck Norris down there. Well, what ha- do, do they take you some real... Or- Real Texas Walk, Ranger type Walker shit. bitch teller on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, bah, 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 bah. What's the Walker Texas Ranger theme? Oh, I don't um, remember. Walker Texas Ranger. Walker Texas Ranger. It turns out this bitch got an abortion. Walker. A girl got raped by her dad, yeah. and she had to get an abortion. Well, I better get. My well, $10, I'm gonna. $10. I'm gonna get ten G's, and then yeah. she's gonna have a little accident with her brake. Well, maybe we should break line. Maybe we can get her pregnant again <laughs> and get even more money. <laughs> so you snitch on somebody? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. yeah. Oh, I remember. Oh yeah, this yeah. is fucking good. It's a good theme. In the eyes. 
eyes of a ranger, the unsuspecting stranger, had better know the truth of wrong from right. Cause the eyes of the ranger are upon you. Any wrong you do, he's gonna see. When you're in Texas, look behind you. Cause that's where the ranger's gonna be. And he's just kicking pregnant women. <laughs> this is the louder version. <laughs> this is when they had to make the show louder because the audience entered their late 80s. Mm-hmm. And they couldn't hear. Uh, Big Samoan says, fuck you to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. What? This Who's that? Suggested, uh, just a random guy? I don't know. I don't know, man. Because the eyes of a ranger are upon you. We didn't play enough music. This Any episode. wrong you do, he's going to see. He's going to suck your pussy. He's going to suck your penis and fuck your fuck asshole. You. And then he's going to send you to jail for being gay. <laughs> the eyes of a penis gets me horny. The eyes of a penis makes me penis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking fag. I am Chuck Norris. Mm-hmm. And when you fuck me at Kung Fu, the legend continues. And when I get my dick sucked by a man's dick, mm-hmm. it makes me horny. <laughs> I love this. It's really good. What is this? It's a theme song from Kung Fu the Legend. Oh, Continue. really? Mad really good. good. Legend to continue this week, you can go to patreon.com. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Otherwise. Otherwise, suck our cocks. Or come see us live. Come see me live. Come see Adam live. Buy a t-shirt. 